Hi, welcome to Harrods. Hope you're hungry. Let's go inside. Just look at all this amazing food on offer. We're going to take you around this hall and the other hall, which is where the bakery and coffee shop is. But um, we're just going to walk around and show you what Harrods has to offer. All of the food looks quite amazing in, in terms of quality. It's probably a little bit pricier as you would expect for a, a, a store like Harrods, but um, I wouldn't say it was horrendously priced. Quite easily just pop in here, get some lunch and then go off to a park or something and have a nice little lunch. But these pies and pastries there look quite amazing. Lots of cakes and things also on offer. We're going to take you around though, there's lots and lots to see. If you haven't seen my Harrods chocolate food haul video, please go and see that. That's all um, to do with obviously chocolate. But this is all the, the sort of fresh food that you can buy from Harrods. Some of it's just pre-made sort of um, French bread, filled French bread for lunch. But here we go, lots of um, pasta on offer. Some of it's already pre-boxed, so you can just take it away. Here we have some curry, if you like Indian food, some samosas. They look like sort of uh, roti breads or man breads. Here we are, we're at the caviar, salmon. Salmon's not really my thing, but um, some people like it. There we go, some kebabs. Some rice dishes. Looks a bit more oriental, I think, this, um, this display. We'll head over to one of the other counters. There's some pre-made boxes there you can buy. There's some rolls and baguettes you can buy, already filled, or you can have them make with any uh, ingredients you want. No idea what these things are. Look popular. Lots of uh, nuts. Here we go, there's some fresh uh, fruits. Grapes, apples, some exotic fruit here as well. And over here we've got some juices and smoothies. You can uh, get some uh, pre-made sort of ones or you can ask them to make a smoothie from your own ingredients if you want. Not too badly priced, £6 for a juice, £7 for a smoothie. And there's some pre-made ones on the fridge display. And rows of fruit and vegetables. And there's some uh, champagne, some Bollinger, Moe. If you fancy a little picnic, you can come get some lunch, a bottle of champagne, go and sit in the park somewhere. In the summer, that's very tempting, isn't it? Some uh, meats there. Head on over to this uh, counter, which is a lot more meats, some sausages, hams. There's 
some sort of salamis and other types of sausage. Some drinks to, on the fridges to our left. self-service tills, good to see. Sort of head around here, the delicatessen. And here we have the uh, cheeses. Some eggs there. And all this variety of cheeses. They even sell some chopping boards or cheese boards. Some soft cheeses. Going to head over to here now, the rotisserie. Some fresh chickens being cooked, and now we're going into the roastery and bake hall. Wow, this looks quite fancy, doesn't it? Nice Easter display there on the right. I'll come back to that later. Some lo lovely cakes there on offer. And, uh, an amazing flower display there. And here we are at the coffee area. Just sit down, chill out, have a co cup of coffee, cup of tea, whatever you fancy. Maybe a cake at the coffee bar. The bakery. Some pretzels other bread rolls and things and over here we have the loaves of bread Up there you can see the loaves of bread, the round ones with a big H on them for Harrods. Lots of different types of bread. That's seven pound a loaf. We'll head on over here. We've got some um, Hot cross buns, some croissants, pan of chocolates, <laughs> and we'll make our way around the um, other side of the coffee bar. Over to the tea section. There's such an amazing variety of teas in Harrods. If you're not from the UK and you're here visiting, make sure you take some tea home. Us Brits love a cup of tea. really is a lovely coffee bar isn't it I'm tempted to sit and have a cup of coffee but um, I'm very busy today and there we go there's where they actually roast coffee on site you can buy the beans by the bag
Look at this. This is um, Queen Elizabeth, who um, passed away last year. There's some special commemorative tea. Look at these amazing cakes. Wow. We'll head on over here where you can buy some some coffee. These tins look nice. From Indonesia, Brazil, Panama, Jamaica and Hawaii. Here's some pre-packed bags of coffee. And they even sell their own make um, of coffee pods for Nespresso machines. Yeah. These are lovely tins, these. I might have to buy one of these. Keep my um, fresh beans in. Harrods Finest Blend Coffee. Some hot chocolates, hot cocoa. Some hot chocolate there. Praline flavoured hot chocolate, sea salted caramel. They look quite fancy. Here we go, some lovely cheesecakes. I do love a cheesecake. Wow, it looks so lovely. We're going to head over to the little Easter section here. The Easter section in the um, the chocolate hall was uh, a lot bigger, but this is just a, a small area in this food hall. There we go, there's some pre-packed candy, some mini eggs, some chocolate bunnies. Over there, there's some um, quite small Easter eggs, all different flavours. They like thirty pounds. There's even a vegan oat milk Easter egg. Some stuff for the children, little bunnies, teddy bears. Here we go, here's some more treats. Some Easter bunnies. Some very small eggs. There's even some carrots for the Easter bunnies. Mm 
Over here, we've got some hampers, some pre-made hampers. Harry to do some amazing hampers. £70 there for a, a hamper. Lots of different kinds, whether it's tea or wines and champagnes. £85 there for a hamper. Some old grey tea, some wine. All comes in a little basket. If you're liking the video so far, please feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. It's free to do, doesn't cost you a penny. Leave any comments down below if you've been to Harrods Food Hall and what you think. And um, hit that like button as well, it all helps the channel out, thank you. Here's some bags you can buy, some Harrods bags. Save on the plastics. Oh, and what's this? This is left over from Christmas time. So we've got some Christmas puddings. I didn't actually have a Christmas pudding this year. I'm the only one in the family that likes it. And I don't think I bothered buying myself one. So some Christmas puddings, some biscuits, and some smaller Christmas puddings. Quite, um, quite cheap. They were originally £12 and now £3. You know what? I might just treat myself. Yes, why not? Three pounds. Very cheap. Feels very heavy. Can't wait to get that home and eat that later. But some biscuits there. Reduced also. And the bigger Christmas puddings. Twenty pounds originally and now five pounds. Here we have some Mother's Day items. Little Harrods milk chocolate raspberries some fondants and some lovely biscuits a biscuit card and here's some is that peanut butter? Here we have some biscuits assortments. Some butter biscuits. Lovely tins. Some sweet biscuits. And here we are, as promised, we're going back to this Easter display. I'll try and get some close-ups, but I'm on my filming on my phone, so forgive the quality. Might be a little blurry. But just enjoy the uh, little display here. Thanks again for watching today. 
Hope to see you in the next video. Again, please subscribe, free to do so, and it really helps us out. I'll leave you now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.